Hi guys, we've got an application of differentiation question here today where the question says we've got given that y equals x cosine of x, use derivatives to find the approximate change in y when x changes from 2 to 2.01. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, approximation method using small changes in x using derivatives. So what that actually means is we can actually approximate the change in y by taking the derivative or evaluating the derivative dy dx at the original point, in this case it's going to be when x equals 2 and multiplying it by the change in x cool so what we can do with this is we can we can use this for small changes in x. Now that's important to understand. So here we have a small change in x. The larger the change in x, the less accurate our approximation is going to be. So let's get to it. What this approximation method asks us to do first is calculate the derivative of the function. So let's go about doing that. We're going to have we're going to use the product rule. So we've got dy dx is going to be equal to the derivative of the first function, so just 1 times the cosine of x is just the cosine of x. And we're going to leave the front constant and we have the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. So it's going to be minus x sine of x. Cool. So what we do is we plug this into here and we evaluate it when x equals 2. So what we can say is we can say that the small change in y is going to be equal to this derivative evaluated when x equals 2. So let's write that in. We've got cosine now 2. We're going to, I'm going to assume it's in radians. So the cosine of 2 minus 2 times the sine of 2. And I have to multiply that by the, the change in x. Now, it changes from 2 to 2.01. So the change in x is 0 0.01. Cool. So what we do is we get our calculators out. And we're going to say that delta y then is going to be equal to, we've got cosine of 2 is equal to negative 0 0.146, sorry, 0 0.416. And I'm going to subtract 2 times the derivative, 2 times the derivative, 2 times sine 2. And that's 0 0.909. Great. Once I've done all that, I'm going to times that by 0 0.01. Great. So what we have then is we have delta y is equal to this part of the function, which is negative 2.235 times by 0 0.01. And finally, we can say, therefore, delta y it's going to be equal to, doesn't take a rocket science to do that multiplication there, negative 0 0.02235. Cool. And that is our change in y for a change in x of 0 0.01. Cool. So that's the end of the question. So first of all, let's just go through our steps. Well, first of all, finally, let's just go through our steps. So what we did is we um, recognized that this is a small change in x here. 
and we can use this approximation method using derivatives here. So once we've got this relationship, we then have to compute the derivative, evaluate it at the original x position, so in this case 2, that's why we use this, because evaluating this derivative at 2.01 would be quite a bit more difficult. So what we do is we calculate it at 2, and then we multiply it by the change in x, which this suggests, which in this case is 0 0.01. So it's not a very complicated situation. If you know how derivatives work, it's just a matter of going through this a couple of times and understanding what where the algorithm has to be plugged into. So I hope the video helped guys. I've got quite a few videos on these incremental changes or percentage errors or percentage change questions. You might want to have a look at them, but until next time, I hope the video helped and I'll see you next time.